gentlemen. Can you hear me out there? I can say, okay, good, great, great, great. So you'll probably be relieved to know that we probably won't have any PowerPoint slides here. You know, second time it's ever happened, but the damn thing's probably just blue screened on me here, which is sort of evident. So less visual aids other than the product itself. And uh, here we are extolling the virtues of our technology, and then technology fails on us to help support the presentation of it. My name's Simon Jones. I'm the VP of New Market Development for Line 6. Line 6 may or may not be a brand that you're familiar with. Uh, it's, a, it's a brand that's been around for about 10 years, predominantly in the MI segment. Uh, it's, a group of com uh, it's, a, it's a company that grew out of a core development team called Fast Forward Design, established in the mid-80s. Um, these guys were responsible for working with Alesis and developing the SR16 drum machine, doing the groundbreaking uh, quadroverb. And these guys are also the guys that developed the ADAP recorder, real paradigm shifting products in the category. Um, about 10 years ago, developing this DSP modeling technology to enhance and provide using digital technology processing to enhance and support the creation of music and effects for uh, performing musicians. Our goal now is to take that, um, that paradigm shifting um, technology and development and apply it to different areas. And the, uh, the digital wireless technology that we're introducing this year is evident of that. We believe that um, the analog to digital transition is, um, we see it all around us, um, digital um, analog to digital cell phone transmission, TV, um, recording, all things within the audio domain. And with those, we have um, enhanced quality, simpler user interface, a deeper, richer feature set level allows us to do more things. We believe that analog to digital transition in wireless radio frequencies is going to happen. At some point in the future, all radio transmission, small devices like this, will be digital. And we're seeing it now with some, other, uh, some of the big heritage brands introducing their digital technology. Our digital technology, we, have, we believe we've got unmatched performance, unmatched sound quality, and, un and unmatched simplicity of operation. Um, performance is derived utilizing the 2.4 gigahertz channel. Uh, we're above all the noise, worldwide reallocation and the sell-off and redistribution of spectrum in the core TV brands that we're seeing, not only in the US, the US with the FCC and um, here with Ofcom, talking to some chaps in Finland this morning and didn't realize sort of going through the same thing. So it's definitely something that we can operate above that. So that's a significant benefit for us. 2.4 gig, yes, it's crowded, but they're all low-powered transmitters, no high-powered transmitters to deal with and cope with. So if we can develop a technology that we have here that allows us to operate without having a clear channel, then we can really provide a, a solution that solves problems um, on that level. We have something called uh, proprietary data placement and digital channel lock. Digital channel lock allows us to encode the transmitter and the receiver. So, um, you know, the, the, the metaphor there is sitting in at Starbucks. You don't receive somebody else's email when you're, you know, you're doing that in a similar way that if we're transmitting or receiving our system that, you know, what it, it, it locks in and you get what, you, what the transmitter outputs. And the proprietary data placement is a uh, uh, frequency helping spe spe spectrum technology with a pseudo-random placement of packets of information, um, which transmits on four different frequencies. So even if we have multiple channels locked off, our data concealment at the other end when we decode, but pretty much like a CD player um, mask scratches on the CD, works in the same way. So we have a very reliable wireless system, worldwide, license-free. As far as the unmatched sound, we're dealing with digital. So we're just transmitting noughts and ones here. And as soon as it goes in here from the transducer, we convert using 24-bit 24, um, 24 um, converters to digital. And then right at the other end, just before we output here, is digital transmission as well. We have less than four milliseconds of latency through the whole system, um, which means that any 
it's immune to any radio interference. So the content, the noughts and ones, that data is still intact and preserved. So you don't get any of the static and the hiss that you get with an analog system as it fades in and out or somebody breaking into your channel. The other thing is, with digital transmitting noughts and ones, we don't require that, um, we don't require the frequency mod, we're not limited by the frequency modulation limitations of analog wireless, which is about 50 dB um, headroom. So we don't, we don't have to use and rely on compander circuitry to be able to squash that signal down. So what we've got is we've got about 115 dB plus of headroom on the, tran on, on, on the transmission on the audio. So you get this really superior um, level of headroom and dynamics that you don't get with an analog radio system where you're using companders that you can hear the effect of companders as they start clamping down on high frequencies. And we don't need, because we're not using uh, companders, we don't need to roll off the low frequency. Um, because companders don't like um, 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 you know, the artifacts introduced by that and the pumping of low frequency in companders isn't a good thing. So we've got a really good, we've got great dynamic range. Our audio transmission is 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So whatever you put in is whatever you get out. And then as far as simplicity of operation, we, we talk of something called virtual wire transmission. That our utopia, the utopia of radio, right, is that if you could just replace the XLR cable with a wireless system that didn't affect the way that you operated. So basically you plugged an XLR at each end and that was it. You didn't have to set any gain, pad, squelch, levels or anything like that. That would be great. Well, we don't have to do that on this system. There are no level settings, no squelch, no gain controls. What you put in is what you get out. Um, the other thing about that, um, virtual wire transmissions, <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if it, you know, the, the ultimate utopia is it cost the same? That, you know, the cost of a SM58 wired mic and some high quality XLR cable over 100 feet, wouldn't it be great if you could just replace it with a system? We're not quite yet, that, there yet, but obviously trying to get very close to it. So, you know, the message there is that it just works. Uh, and as far as some of the other feature sets for flexibility, True to Line 6 heritage on our XDV70 here, we've incorporated, because we have a, um, some DSP modeling capability in the mic, we've been able to emulate the frequency response characteristics of six of the world's top leading live sound dynamic mic microphones. So provide that flexibility. There's a seventh one as well that we compiled, which is the synthesis of all of those that, you know, through our subjective testing, we think sounds the best. Um, but also, if you just want to use this 10 hertz, 20 kilohertz range, then you can use some very, one of the biggest brand standard thread adapter here. And the belt pack used standard connectivity of a T, uh, TA4F connector, so you could use other lab um, systems in our belt pack. We have an antenna distribution, so you just daisy chain the antenna through. We've got a 3 volt DC bias on the output here which also drives some optional paddle antenna. So, in a nutshell, um, who records to analog cassette anymore? All right? <laughs> All right. Who, re who records to analog cassette <laughs> anymore? Yeah. Digital, it's the way of the future. We believe we've got a product here that solves problems. We believe that, you know, as far as expanding our brand into this new marketplace for us, um, we don't underestimate the challenge. We believe we've got a product that fits and solves some solutions. And it, and it is a hot topic right now as far as what some of those logistical solutions are, you know, in addition to some of the benefits Digital Audio presents. So thank you very much. Any questions? Yes, a quick one. Um, you said it was 24-bit, uh, but what's the sampling rate? Um, 48K. I've heard the reason why um, 2.4 gig systems have been slow to market is apparently there's issues with the pack physically moving. So if you, if you have a, a radio pack that you know a, a dancer or someone in yeah. is physically moving above a certain speed, you then get um, lock problems. We haven't um, no, we haven't we haven't discovered that. Um, and that's why a lot of the big boys still aren't oh. bringing out these products. It's because um, of that. Apparently. Oh, that's interesting. I've not heard that. Um, before as an issue. I've heard things about the absorption rate of, you know, the water mass here using the shorter, you know, the shorter wavelength um, transmission. And um, 
you know, obviously Wi-Fi is a big concern about how that operates. Um, and, and how many channels can you run simultaneously? Twelve. 12. 12. And, that's, and that's the way we market, I mean, we market 12 co-located channels, that these 12 channels that you can set, set and forget and use worldwide license free. Uh, and that's different than having 100 available channels and being able to scan and seek what you want. Is the product ready to ship now? Is it a, it's shipping. Yeah, it's shipping. We started um, shipping what last month. What cost is list? Um, our US, um, a US cost on the street is $500 for the XTV system here. When there's a, there's a handheld version, of, we have a body pack version with a lab mic. There's some derivative product coming as well for just application. All right. Thank you. Oh, look, I've still got a blue screen as well. Magic, look at that. <laughs>